Moy Maisha. I'm one of the nurses at the Genetics and IVF Institute. I'd like to talk to you today about becoming a donor egg patient and what that entails. Donor egg patients who come to GIVF come for a variety of reasons. They might be a little bit older. They might have a translocation or a genetic disease that they do not want to pass on to their children. They may have had multiple failed IVF cycles or multiple miscarriages. If you're considering donor egg IVF, the first step would be to call and schedule an appointment with one of our physicians. This appointment can be in person or over the phone. We want to make sure that you feel comfortable with all of the information the physician's going to be discussing, as well as give you the opportunity to view the donors in advance. On the very first appointment, the physician will review the medical background and your medical history in detail. They will be looking specifically for medical testing that you might have done before. This is designed to give them an idea of what the best treatment protocol will be. They'll answer your questions and give you an understanding of the tests that you might still need to obtain, along with the prescriptions so that you can have these tests performed. At the very end, they'll answer your questions and give an idea about the success for the treatment plan they've outlined. When you're ready to proceed, there's a few things that we need to do. One of the jobs of the nurses is to ensure that the testing has been received or to remind you if the testing is still needed. We also need to choose a donor. That can be a very difficult task, but we're here to help you throughout the entire process. We provide a lot of information about the donors. We know it's important for you to make the decision. The information includes medical history background of the donor and three generations of her family, the testing that the donor has undergone, personality tests, personal likes and dislikes, academic interests, essays, and audio interviews. In addition, we share photos of the donor as a child and as she looks as an adult. We will go over the donor's past cycle history with you and together we'll come up with a donor that might be the best fit. Once you know for sure that this is the donor you'd like to proceed with, we will officially match to that donor and we'll have you speak with the physician one final time to prepare for the actual treatment cycle. Once the treatment cycle has been completely outlined, we'll go through it with you step by step in a process known as pre-cycle planning. In pre-cycle planning, we'll go over all of the medications that the physician has asked for you to take, and we'll teach you exactly how to give yourself these injections or oral medications. We're here for you every step of the way, and we'll do that during the treatment process as well. I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Lawrence Udoff, our medical director. One of the most significant advancements in reproductive medicine in the last several decades is the ability to successfully freeze and warm an egg and produce a high rate of pregnancies. This technology, known technically as vitrification, is used in many aspects of assisted reproductive technology. But where it seems to have had one of the most dramatic impacts is in the donor egg IVF process. With traditional donor egg IVF, it was always a very cumbersome process Successful, but difficult. It involved finding a donor. With limited availability of donors, sometimes patients had to wait months, if not a year or more, before a donor became available. There was also the need to synchronize the recipient cycle with the donor cycle, also requiring sometimes months of waiting. There were issues related to uncertainties. When there is a fresh cycle underway, one never knows how many eggs we're going to get, whether there's going to be any issues that come up health-wise with the donor that would lead us to not even being able to use those eggs. All those things are removed by using the egg bank option. This is also a much more efficient process and through efficiency allows us to lower costs. So now donor egg can be available to patients where previously it wasn't due to its high cost. I feel very fortunate to have been able to practice reproductive medicine over the last almost 20 years and I've been witness to many advancements that have helped many, many patients have a family. Few of those advancements uh, could be thought of to be any more significant than the egg freezing advancement. This has allowed us to help many patients, particularly those that need donor egg IVF, that we couldn't before. One of the most common questions we hear from patients is whether there's a difference in success rates with frozen eggs versus fresh eggs. I'm happy to say with current technologies and our years of experience here at Genetics and IVF that the success rates with fresh and frozen eggs are almost the same. In my near 20 years of practice, there have been few advancements as significant as egg freezing. 
It's allowed us to help couples that in previous times we were not able to assist, either due to the high cost of the donor egg option or due to its complexity. We greatly appreciate the opportunity to talk to patients about this option here at Genetics and IVF.